Boolean Basics, How Terms and Connector Searching Operates, Part 1, Terms. Boolean searching is a type of search which uses terms, such as cat or dog, which are combined with Boolean connectors, like AND and OR, to find all exact matches of your search statement. Boolean search engines are used in legal research because they provide greater precision and accuracy than other types of searches. They aren't the only type of search engine you will use, but once you've identified very specific search criteria and you need to find every document that meets your search criteria, or if you need to know how many documents meet those criteria, you will need to use a Boolean search. Being able to craft good Boolean searches is just one of the tools that will help you quickly and efficiently find the best authorities for your research needs. I've made a sample database that will illustrate how the different terms and connectors operate in the underlying data. Please remember that there are variations in the ways the different search engines handle some things. So whenever you are using a search engine that you aren't very familiar with, it is best to check out the help screens before you start running searches. Boolean searching, which is sometimes called terms and connector searching, is based on the searcher selecting appropriate search terms. A term is a string of characters separated from other terms or from connectors by a space. The computer doesn't know what the term means, it just sees the characters. In the examples I have here, it is useful to note that the computer does not know that canine and dog are the same thing. And on the other hand, when the computer sees the letters T-U-R-K-E-Y, it doesn't know if you're talking about an animal or a country. Some words are so common that the search system will just ignore them. These are called noise words. Little words like a, uh, in, the are usually noise words. To find out which words are noise words in a particular system, don't forget to check the help screens. Some systems have built-in automatic equivalents. Lexis and Westlaw both recognize regular plurals as an automatic equivalent. If you include the word cat in a Lexis or Westlaw Boolean search, you will automatically retrieve documents that have the word cat or the word cats. And on Lexis, you will get the same results if you use the word cats in a search instead of the word cat. On the other hand, on Westlaw, if you put the word cats in your search, you will not retrieve the singular. And on Bloomberg Law, if you are running a Boolean search, cat is not the same word as cats, and if you want both, you must account for that in the way you craft your search. This is an illustration of how a search through this very small database for the word cat would work in a Boolean search on Lexis Advance or Westlaw. There are some special characters you can use to build your own equivalents. These are called wildcards. The first wildcard is a truncation character. This retrieves words with alternate endings. Lexis, Westlaw, and Bloomberg Law all recognize the exclamation point as a truncation character. This character includes in your search all terms that begin with a string to the left of the exclamation point, whether or not there are additional characters after that point. Not all search engines use the exclamation point as the truncation character. For example, our library catalog and Lexis Advance will recognize an asterisk as a truncation character. Also, in Bloomberg Law, you can put an exclamation point in the middle of a word. Bloomberg News searching uses different universal characters, so before you run a news search on Bloomberg, check the help screens. The other wildcard is a universal character. It replaces a single character, usually in the middle of a word, but sometimes at the end. Westlaw and Bloomberg Law use the asterisk as a universal character, but in Lexis Advance, the question mark is the universal character. There are other variations on, on how the universal character can be used, so again, I want to remind you to check the help messages whenever you are crafting a search in a system that you only use on an occasional basis. And here's a research tip. Truncate when you can. For example, E-M-P-L-O-Y exclamation point will get employer, employment, employed, and employing in addition to employ and employees. But watch for over-inclusiveness. For example, C-A-R exclamation point will retrieve carrier and careful. And A-U-T-O exclamation point will retrieve automatic and autopsy. And many, un and many other unrelated words that begin with those characters. Some search engines will assume that if there are no connectors in your search statement, if you type it into the universal search box, that you are intending to run a natural language search. But if you have chosen to run a Boolean search as your default in Bloomberg Law, or if you're running an advanced search on Westlaw, or searching within your search results on Westlaw, you will be running a Boolean search. 
Each of the three major search engines treats the space between words in a Boolean search differently. But before I can tell you about that, I'll need to explain how the connectors operate, which I do in Boolean Basics Part 2.